Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and about two years ago, Xiaomi released this Go Kart with 9Bot, and now they've released a new one the 9Bot Go Kart Pro Lamborghini Edition. I was in Beijing to try it out and to see if it's any good, so uh, without further ado, let's go! So the Lamborghini Kart is made out of a 9Bot Max, which is used as its engine and the Lamborghini design housing. Let's look at the specs first. When mounted, it is 142 by 85 by 60 centimeters in size and weighs in at around 51 kilos. You can actually fold it for transportation though. It's got a max payload of 100 kilograms when mounted and it's intended for drivers of 14 years and older. It comes with a 432 watts hour battery pack in the 9 baud max, which can go up to 40 kilometers per hour and 3 kilometers per hour when in reverse. As the go-kart, it can travel for around 25 kilometers, but that might be a little bit less when using it on full speed. It's got four speed modes, which you can set from the steering wheel or from the 9 baud app, as it does connect over Bluetooth. It also has a Bluetooth speaker on the front, which can play a bunch of Lamborghini sounds like the engine, but it can also be used as a Bluetooth speaker to play music. That's what you want. It has an IPX4 waterproof rating, although the 9Bot balancing scooter itself has a waterproof rating of IP54. It's got a slope angle of uh, 15 degrees and an automatic brake for when you stop the cart on such a slope. So this thing looks interesting. I've seen it on the Xiaomi campus in Beijing in the store and I've drove it around in the offices of Xiaomi's global team. So um, if you came back to work and your chair was moved, well, that could have been me. I've tried out the 9Bot Go Kart that Xiaomi released two years ago, but now I got to try this one out. Be aware that they surely advise you to wear safety gear yep. when using it, and in this demo it's been showcased by professionals. Obviously, or well maybe it was just me. It's as easy as turning it on, setting the mode to whatever speed you want, and just accelerate. You can use the brake pedal to set it in reverse when you push that twice, even though it reverses quite slow and it does look kind of lame. It's got a handle brake to brake a lot faster in case you need it, and I found out that the handle brake is actually pretty nice to drift with. So I tried to do some 180s with that, and that was hella fun to do. I've tried it a number of times, and that is actually so much fun. As Xiaomi had a 10 years anniversary racing party, they actually made a racing track around the campus area. So I've been driving around that and this thing is just super fun to use. I definitely had a lot of fun driving this thing around and testing it. You can also connect this go-kart with the 9Bot app to monitor the battery level, distance that you've drove, um, change its settings like the speed mode, set things like dynamic turning which will turn in corners more sharply, you can set the night lights and the colors of this, set up an alarm and download firmware updates. So this cart looks pretty nice and that 40 km per hour limit is really quite fast for such a cart. It's really fast because you're that close to the ground. It's kind of cool that the 20 km speed limit of the 9Bot Max is actually 40 km per hour when it's mounted as the Lamborghini go-kart. So what are my first thoughts after trying this for about an hour? Well, point one is that it's cool. It's actually a lot more fun than I had uh, anticipated. It looks cool, the Lamborghini design is a little bit of a gimmick, but it sure makes it a lot more affordable to buy a Lamborghini that you can actually drive, so it's fast. I mean, professional go-karts have pretty much double the speed of this one, but this is really quite fast for its purpose. Its build quality seems very good. It's got impact protection pretty much all around the cart and it seems to have a very strong base. It seems to be quite safe. It might be hard to bring um, depending on where you live as there is a fair chance that you're not allowed to drive this in the street so you'll need to have a dedicated spot where you can actually drive it. It's a go-kart so it's low to the ground making it very dangerous to drive around in the streets with. But no matter all of that I think it is very fun it is very cool to drive around with and if you ever get the chance you should try it out because it's it's just fun. The Xiaomi 9Bot Go Kart Pro Lamborghini Edition came out in China in the Xiaomi store where it goes for 9,999 RMB, which is around 1,450 US dollars or around 1,200 euros. I'm sure some resellers will offer this uh, on their online store sometime soon, but I do expect they will be a little bit more pricey on there though. 
So that's about it for the Ninebot Go Kart Pro Lamborghini Edition. What do you guys think? Is this something you want to try out? Would you even want to have something like this? Let me know down here in the comment section what you guys think. And uh, don't forget to leave a little like below this video to show me that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do because I'm posting a lot of videos about Xiaomi and the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. And as YouTube keeps changing their algorithm, it's a little bit harder to find my videos. So, so please subscribe to uh, stay up to date with my latest videos as there is a lot of cool stuff coming up in the near future. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.